Our next guest is with a company that's always been doing a lot of cool things, including helping with things like search and rescue and among other things, but they are continuing to outdo themselves with some neat products. The Director of Marketing for Emerging and Mobile Products for FLIR Systems is Bruce Cumming. Bruce, welcome into tomorrow. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, tell us what you have here, first of all, and let's get into uh, what's going on about thermal imaging technology these days. Right. Well, so thermal imaging technology, you know, is the ability to see heat. Yeah. So everything around us in the, in the known world either emits or uh, reflects thermal radiation. And if you can visualize it, mm -hmm. then you can do some cool things, which is what we're doing now with uh, FLIR 1. So this is our second generation FLIR 1 which is now uh, available for all iOS devices that use a lightning connector mm -hmm. as well as Android. Very good. I mean, it's good. Now you can continue on the show because I'm on Android. If it was only available for iOS, I would be very upset. Got so, it. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, what I say now is it's thermal imaging for the rest of us. Yeah, good. Ah, that means you're a fellow droid. Okay. <laughs> well, but you have it right now on an iPhone here. And yes, this is I do. a small device uh, for those listening on the radio uh, until you get to see the video. A little small device uh, that kind of reminds me initially of like the, the square uh, credit card readers yeah, and things exactly. you plug into your phone, right? right? So you have it plugged into the bottom of the, the iPhone, of course. And there are what appear to be two lenses Yeah, there. so we have two cameras. Um, the first is the thermal imaging camera, mm -hmm. and it's four times the resolution of our original thermal imaging camera. Wow, and, and that was good. It was <laughs> so pretty good, now, yeah, so now exactly. This is even much better. Yeah. And, uh, and of course, what we do is, um, it's proprietary technology that FLIR has a patent for. We basically emboss a visual image over the top of our thermal image. And what that does is it gives you way much more context and detail in the thermal image. So you can actually see here, you can see detailed backgrounds. You can even read the logo on that cup. Yes. Oh, my which gosh. Which you typically can't do with a thermal image. Not at all. In fact, what we're looking at, Chris, move so that folks can see you. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Uh, this is the thermal image of Chris behind the camera here on, on the guest camera. And we're seeing that it's good to know he's alive. Yeah. I don't know about alive. alive and well, but he's, he's alive <laughs> because you can see the heat as well as my hands exactly. getting, my fingers getting exactly. in the way. Exactly. You can see that cold drink in front of him, which is contrasted yes. against his Yes, and let me lean body. in. Oh, my gosh. Look, you go. look, it's a thermi. It's a thermi. Which is what you guys call selfies with thermal imaging. That's it's right. It's a thermi. This is my first thermi. Can you take the picture and, and send go. it to us? And I'll tell you what. It's going to go on Twitter within seconds, <laughs> Dave. There you go. <laughs> Very cool. We got thermis now. And then you'll have to send it, and then I'll also Instagram it and tweet it and and my first thermi. <laughs> <That'll> Congratulations. <laughs> yes, thanks. <laughs> See, now CES is complete. I got a thermi. I'm in great shape. But now let's talk about practical uses. So mm -hmm. now we know that Chris is alive, that I'm alive, that right. you see heat and that you see cold from my Pepsi sure. cup and that kind of thing. Uh, how would we utilize this in real life other than being very cool? Right. So, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of practical uses. So th the two key things that you can do with thermal imaging, obviously, is you don't need any ambient light whatsoever. So if it was complete darkness, you'd be able to see warm bodies. So that's good. Yeah, and that's how sure. they use it, obviously, in search and rescue. Yeah. But the other thing it does is it enables you to measure temperature. Um, and so there's lots of practical applications around the house. So, so would we kind of take our temperature even with this? Is it that kind of accuracy yet? Well, or? I mean, I wouldn't use it for that type of okay. sort of medical use, no. Right. I, I wouldn't. But, but basically, if you've got an overloaded uh, power circuit in your home and you mm. could use it to determine which breaker was over was overloaded? Ah. If you've got any uh, energy that's leaking out of your out of your windows or doors, mm -hmm. if they're badly installed, you could detect that with thermal imaging. Very cool. Um, I was talking to a guy the other day at, um, for for Thanksgiving. Uh, they were having some trouble cooking the turkey, and he used his thermal imager, his FLIR one, to determine that all the heat was leaking out of a really badly sealed oven door, and they and no wonder it wasn't cooking right, properly. Right, and they very quickly, you know. Uh, made a rudimentary fix to that, yeah, and they had a wonderful, and <laughs> wonderful... Uh, <laughs> and, and you saved Thanksgiving. Exactly. FLIR 1 what saved Thanksgiving. What a warming story. I love it. <laughs> it's, 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 it's FLIR 1 and gravy. Perfect combination. Well, not together, but anyway. I'm no. loving that. Now, uh, is FLIR 1 available? Uh, we, we start shipping this device uh, mid-year. Okay. Um, of this year? Of this year, okay. 2015. <laughs> but we Just have making a, sure. Last, last year, we... Uh, we launched the original version of uh, FLIR 1, and mm -hmm. it's still available now. You can buy it online, okay. Amazon, Best Buy, Apple.com. And how much? 
two forty nine. Okay, and will the new version also be two forty nine? We haven't released the price for the new version yet, okay. but uh, we'll let people know closer to the Good. launch and, date. And let us know when you get closer to the launch date as well. We'll be happy to talk about it. We'll say, remember, we had Bruce on at CES. It's now available, so go check it out, and, and I'll bet you uh, we can help you sell some of these things. And for, and for no other reason than to get thermies, more thermies going. We need more of more thermies out there in the world. I There's think no the doubt world would it. be a better place. Without a doubt. There you go. You want to visit FLIR, F-L-I-R dot com, and you can even do slash FLIR1 as one Correct. word and get specific information on this. And, of course, know when the new one is actually out. Love it. Bruce, thanks so much for spending some time with us and for, for giving us a, a, thal- a, a thermi. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me, Dave. Appreciate it's, it. It's our pleasure. Intotomorrow.com. For more, you got to come by and see the video of Bruce's interview as well, and you'll see exactly what we're talking about and just how cool this is. I'm Dave Graveline. We continue from Las Vegas on the Advanced Media Network.